Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mess around in the camera editor and BeamNG Drive. Now, this allows you to make some really cool shots and just mess around and yeah, it, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So, let's just get right into it and number one, you're going to need, well, BeamNG Drive. Um, you're just gonna start recording and if you don't know how to get this little uh, bar here uh, you basically press escape and you go to your customize UI apps and then you hit the little plus add app and then if you you, you should be able to find replay or you can just search replay you just click that and drag it wherever you want. So once you got your replay, you're gonna start recording, and you just drive, you just do whatever you want. So I'm on my steering wheel to make this a bit more smooth. So just mess around, to do something cool like, I don't know, go make your car go sideways, or do something interesting like close calls, or Whatever, make it make it a bit more challenging, all right? Just do whatever you want. You know, it's really up to you. I don't care. I don't know who you are, probably. Anyways, just do whatever you want. Crash. Need to get a little crash as well. There you go. Once we have a crash, we stop recording. There you go, and it should automatically start. So what you do is you press J to uh, stop uh, or freeze physics. And you're going to press F11 to open up the world manager. It's going to take a bit, but, um, yep. Okay, there you go. We've loaded into the world m manager. Now, you might be seeing some other stuff, but I've customized my world manager the way I want. You should be able to see a bunch of other stuff right here. And uh, in case you can't see my um, mouse car, so you should find the camera path editor right here so I just click on that and it should open up a ca path camera tool so you press new right here and you should be able to see all of these and don't worry it's not complicated at all and what you do is you well first position your camera in any way you want so let's just say I want my camera to start like this you press add marker here this is gonna be your first camera and you're gonna be using your arrow keys a lot you're gonna be using your arrow keys to um, go back and forth in seconds so the right key goes uh, one second and then the left key goes back a second it's simple so you press your right key arrow key I'm sorry and that should be a single second and then you might just you move your camera add another marker press your right arrow key again to jump another second bring your camera closer and repeat all the way I can speed this up for you because I don't know some of you guys might mess it up so you repeat after me very simple, skip ahead one second. Now, if you're gonna want to get some nice sideways shots, I will show you how to do those. All right, so uh, beware as well. This often crashes my game a lot. So you can save your camera path right here. So I recommend you save it a lot because it does crash your game and uh, I've, have I already? Yeah, I think I have added the marker, haven't I? Yes, yes I have. There you go. And you just repeat. It's really that simple. And you just repeat after me, simple as that. Now, I've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, we're going to be doing some sideways shots. So, I'll show you how to do those right now. Alright, so, what you're going to do is you're going to position your camera sideways. Not like this, because it's going to glitch out. It's, it's not good. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to gradually turn your camera sideways like this. 
All right, gradually just turn it sideways more and more slowly so it doesn't do a sharp corner. So just slowly turn it sideways. And I'll show you what happens if you don't do it sideways because it just looks horrible. So you skip one second all the time. If you want to do a front shot, I will show you how to do it right now. It's very simple. Do the same thing. Gradually turn it there like this. Turn it. Turn your camera. It's very simple. It takes some time, but you know, we'll get used to it. And there you go, here we have a crash. And now we should be able to do this. There you go. Very simple, skip one second ahead. It is really that simple. I don't know how people mess this up. Well, when you're a beginner, yes, I did, of course, mess up multiple times. So when you're coming to these end shots, be very careful because they, they do F up your camera thing. So I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. You're finished. And if we press play and press F11 again, this is what we have. As you can see, it follows your car, or you can do any type of shots. And, and do you see how this you know, side shot looks? Looks nice, it gradually turns into sides. You know, it's really, it is really that simple. Then you have the crash right here. It is very easy. Now I'll show you what not to do. And how that looks like. You press F11 again to open up the HUD here. And I'm just going to do that. If you want to get out the out of this camera shot view, whatever it's called, just press 1 or C for camera. So you can switch your cameras. Now, I'm going to stop this. Actually, I'm going to save it first. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Just uh, tutorial. If that, yep, to Yep, there you go. So, we're gonna stop F11. We are gonna do that. And we're gonna pick a different car, you know. We're, we're gonna get something different, you know. Let's, uh, let's get, let's, let's, let's get a, let's get a, let's get a Audi. Let's get an Audi. There you go. I want a rooftop view right now. I'm not even gonna do it slowly. I just want a rooftop view, like this, there you go, then uh, I want the rear view, I want a side view again, there you go, you see those, That's that's just not good. Just take your time, all right? If it might look good right now, just take your time. Dude. Well, it's not smooth enough. Just, you know, take your time. And that's how you use the camera path editor. Subscribe, like, everything. Bye-bye.